Welcome. Today's topic is factoring polynomials. Here's a polynomial. Our most recent lesson, we talked about multiplying binomials, and the answer to a problem like that was a polynomial, such as this one. Today, we're doing the opposite process. Factoring is similar to division. We're going to take this polynomial, and we're going to factor it into two binomials. We begin by drawing a generic rectangle, and today you're also going to learn why we've been studying diamond problems all year long. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to take the first term, the x squared, and put it in the first box of the generic rectangle. And we're going to take the last term, 35, and put it in the last box of the generic rectangle. The 12x is going to be divided between the remaining um, squares. And the way we're going to do that is first we're going to make a diamond. The top of the diamond is going to be gotten by multiplying x squared times 35. Okay, the first and last term. So we multiply those and we get 35x squared. The bottom, the sum of the diamond problem is going to be that 12x. Okay, I know that's a lot to remember, but we're going to practice it. Now everything is set up. So we need to come up with two factors that can multiply to make 35x squared, where those same two numbers are also the add-ins that add up to make 12x. So if you can think of that, go ahead and write it into your diamond. And if you can't, I'm going to help you with this one. So 35 could be 5 times 7, and 5 times 7 also equals, or 5 plus 7 equals 12. And because it's x squared, we're going to have 35x squared will be 5x times 7x. And then 5x plus 7x equals 12x. So this 5x and 7x are going to go into the remaining squares of our generic rectangle. I'm going to put the 5x here, 7x like so. Okay. Now we have our generic rectangle all filled out. The binomials that will equal uh, this polynomial are the numbers that we would write along the outside. So for example, to get x squared, that would be x times x, right? And to get the 7x, well, since we already have an x on the side here, that's going to be x times 7. And then going down the other way, to get that 5x, that's going to be x times 5. So now these red um, characters are going to be our binomials. Okay, the first one is x plus 5 times x plus 7. And if we were to multiply x plus 5 times x plus 7, that would equal x squared plus 12x plus 35. So we've just factored the polynomial. Okay, we're just going to do this two more times today. That is going to be our examples. Okay, so let's set up the next one. We have n squared minus 5n minus 50. And again, we're going to begin by setting up a generic rectangle and taking the first term and the last term and putting them into the first and last um, squares. Okay, n squared, we'll go here, and negative 50. So you keep the sign with the number and put it in the box. Now, what about that minus 5n? Well, that's going to be the sum at the bottom of our diamond. But first, let's multiply negative 50 times n squared, and that's negative 50n squared, and then negative 5n at the bottom. So we need to solve this diamond problem and take those answers and put it into the generic rectangle. Let's see two numbers that can multiply to make negative 50 and add to make negative 5. Well, to me, it sounds like negative 10 times 5. And so that's going to be negative 10n times 5n because n times n equals n squared and negative 10n plus negative 5n equals uh, times 5n equals negative 5n. Okay, so we're going to put the negative 10n in this square, the 5n in this one, and now we're all set with our generic rectangle. So the last step, what times what equals n squared? Well, that would be n times n. So n times what equals 5n? That would be n times 5. And n times what equals negative 10n? That would be n times negative 10. And there we have it. So the answer is going to be n minus 10 and n plus 5.
Okay, the last one, I'm going to ask you to just pause the video and attempt this on your own. I will not give any hints. You just go for it. Pause the video. All right, welcome back. I hope that you succeeded in factoring this polynomial. So let's see, we're going to put our x squared in the first box and 8 in the last box and set up our diamond. That plus 6x is going to be the sum at the bottom of the diamond, but first x squared times 8 equals 8x squared. And then we're going to put the plus 6x or positive 6x at the bottom. So two numbers who multiply to make 8 and add to make 6 are 4 and 2. So that's going to be 4x times 2x. And we'll put the 4x and the 2x into the generic rectangle. And what makes x squared? It's x times x. x times what equals 2x? x times 2 x times what equals 4x? It's x times 4. So the answer is x plus 4 times x plus 2. I know I got that bit backwards, but there you go. I hope that you got a lot out of this video. Good luck.